It's time for another episode of my According to You series. Today we're talking about the top 10 lip liners according to you. If you haven't seen this yet, I've been going category by category from primers all the way down to lip liners and asking you guys to submit your top picks. And these are the 10 winners, so we're gonna get started soon. The next category is going to be lipsticks. So I will have the link to the form in the description box down below if you wanna submit your faves. But today we're here for lip liners. So let's just get right into it. We actually have two lip liners tied in 10th place. So the first one is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0. I have one of these that I just barely started using and I can't find it anywhere. So I will pop up a picture of just the screenshot of the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. Lava said, I love how creamy and long lasting this lip liner is. It's so easy to apply and very pigmented. The most pigmented and creamy lip liner I own. The shade range is also lovely and there's a shade for most lipstick shades. I especially like the rusty pink shade as it goes with many pink and rose tone lipsticks. This is my favorite part, reading your reviews. So thank you, Lava, and thank you to everybody who submitted your favorite lip liners. You guys are what make these videos possible and fun, so huge thanks to everybody who participated. Amy said, it has been a consistent favorite since I tried them. The formula is very creamy and easy to apply, but at the same time when it dries down, it won't move in hours. The shade Sandy Beige is my kind of light brown nude with a warm undertone that goes with everything. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Amy. Thanks so much for your review. I only have tried one shade, I believe, and I think it's called Pinky Brown. It's somewhere around here, and I really do like it. The formula is really beautiful. I literally just used it in a video not that long ago, but I'm gonna have to try out the formula even more and then maybe eventually pick up some new shades. I forgot to tell you how many votes that received. So that received seven votes and this next one, which also tied in 10th place, also received seven votes. I feel like this lip liner form got the least amount of submissions because I feel like not that many people wear lip liners. But with that being said, we got some really good solid rankings. So tied in 10th place is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Pencil. I was actually kind of surprised to see this because it's a newer formula, but I personally love this formula and you guys obviously do too. Elizabeth said, I'm a lip product junkie, so I had to submit my vote. Tough call between Makeup by Mario and Jaclyn Cosmetics, but Makeup by Mario's formula is not only ultra smooth to apply, but it also lasts a long time and the brush is nice to blend. There's a brush on the other side if you're wondering. So like the pencils on one side, then there's the brush. And for me, the shades are a game changer. He gets the right undertones. Hands down my fave. I have like 10 shades, I'm obsessed. Love you, Ali. You are so genuine and beautiful inside and out from Montreal, Canada. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. You are so sweet. I just, you guys are the nicest people ever. I say this in every one of these videos because you leave me the sweetest notes ever. I wish I could hug every single one of you. I feel like you're my best friends. So thank you, Elizabeth, for submitting your review. Kelly said, I am obsessed with the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencils. These gorgeous pencils glide on smoothly, wear all day, and come in so many beautiful shades. My absolute favorite shade is Daniel, which also happens to be the name of my husband, and they pair perfectly with the lipsticks. I love your videos and have wanted to participate in one of these videos since the first, but always forget to fill out the forms. Love from Idaho. Well, today's your lucky day. Thank you, Kelly, for your review, and I love that one of the lip liners is named Daniel, your husband's name, that's so fun. I haven't tried that shade. The two shades that I have are Smoky Pink and Toasty, and I personally really love these too, but I'm gonna have to try more. Coming in in ninth place with eight votes is the dun, 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 NYX Suede Lip Liners. I think technically it's the Suede Matte Lip Liners. Yes, okay, so Sam Reen said, I love this product so much. I have two colors in my rotation, Cold Brew and Mauve, I think are the names, and I've had them forever, it feels. I use Cold Brew mainly for lining, and I use Mauve all over the lips with a gloss on top. It's affordable and comes in a variety of versatile colors. It's also sharpenable, so at $4, you can't go wrong. Thanks, Allie, for doing this series and for just being so kind in all of your videos. Oh, you guys. I'm telling you, your notes, they melt me. I'm so thankful for you. So thank you, Sam Rain, for your submission. Miranda said, I love the NYX lip liners. They're very similar to MAC lip liners, but for half the price. My favorite shade is Sandstorm. It's the perfect cool toned nude on me. I love that they're a drier formula, so I have more control. They're easily accessible. And there's so many beautiful shades in the line. Love from Saskatchewan, Canada. Thank you, Miranda, for submitting it. I also own Sandstorm, which is this one right here, actually. It really is such a good cool tone nude, but yeah, NYX makes amazing lip liners in so many different shades you really can't go wrong. 
We actually have two formulas that tied in eighth place as well. The first being from Makeup Forever. I was kind of not surprised to see this. I feel like this is a very viral lip pencil right now. The most mentioned shades were definitely Anywhere Caffeine or Wherever Walnut, but a lot of people just like the formula in general. Emily said, I love everything about this pencil from the formula to the shade and the versatility. It's creamy without being too slippy and Wherever Walnut, is the perfect my lips but better shade. It works with so many of my other lip products or it looks beautiful using to fill in the lips on its own. Definitely a holy grail product for me and I get so much use out of it. Love this series and your channel, Allie. Your videos always brighten my day. Much love from Arizona. Thank you so much. I'm so happy you love this series. I love you guys so much. Nora said, the best my lips but better on the market. Comfortable and long wearing. Can be worn on its own on no makeup days to work or to weddings. It's a must have. I really loved that review. There's nothing better than a product that you can wear on no makeup makeup days all the way up to like special events. So I loved that you used these for all those occasions. Thank you so much, Nora. These had 10 votes by the way. And then also with 10 votes, which means they tied in eighth place were the Pat McGrath Perma Gel Lip Liners. Jessica said, I love this lip liner. It makes your lips look great and super defined. It lasts and there's a good shade range. It's comfortable, doesn't peel and goes on smooth. There are tons of lip liners I enjoy, but this one just makes my lips really stand out and I love it. I love your videos, Allie. They're so relaxing and calming and I look forward to watching them. You have to be the sweetest beauty YouTuber. Love you. Oh my gosh, I love you too. You guys are so nice. You do not have to like send me sweet messages in your reviews, but truly like it makes me so thankful and so grateful for you. That's the same thing, but you know what I mean. I love you guys. Taylor said, need I say more than Pat McGrath for you to instantly think lip liner? These really changed the lip liner game for me. It wasn't until I tried the Permagel liners that I actually ever war lip liner and now I can't go without. It truly lasts all day and still glides on easily with no tugging. I'm honestly a changed woman because of these liners and I know I'm not alone. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Taylor. I definitely also really, really enjoy this formula. I grabbed two shades, but I own quite a few. I really love Done Undone and Structure. I also love Contour. You really, again, can't go wrong with any of the shades. The formula is very, very good. So I agree with these reviews about the Pat McGrath Permagel lip liners. I love them. In seventh place with 11 votes is another new launch that I was surprised to see rank, but it means that they're really, really good and I have to agree. And that is the Rare Beauty Kind Words lip liners. So Carolyn said, I hadn't used lip liners in years, but after hearing so many great recommendations from you, I have tried some of your trusted favorites. And most recently, the new Rare Beauty Kind Words lip liners. Worthy and Bold are my two faves right now color-wise, but honestly, they're all gorgeous. I love that it is creamy and non-drying. They just glide so easily and feel so good on. Thank you, Allie. Your videos are such a highlight of my day. Well, your comment is a highlight of my day, Carolyn. Thank you so much. And it means a lot to me that you have tried some of my trusted favorites and that you've learned to really enjoy them as much as I do. Christine said, I never use a lip liner, but I thought I would try this one and it's so creamy and goes on so nice. It might have changed my mind about using a lip liner. I <laughs> love that review because if a lip liner Liner changes your mind completely about using lip liner in general, you know it's good. And these are truly really, really great, comfortable lip liner formulas and the colors are phenomenal. So I was happy to see that these ranked in seventh place. In sixth place with 12 votes were the Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Lip Liners. Kristen said, these are hands down the best lip liners ever. They are long wearing and never smear or smudge outside of the lip line while also being creamy. I have repurchased Butter Pecan and Caramel Latte numerous times and have a couple backups of these shades as well because they are that good. I wear these liners every day with every lip look. I actually was so excited to see that these were ranked as well because I love this formula. I think that's so special. It's so soft. I love that you can really blur them out too. It's a really, really good one. Jordan said, I absolutely love this lip liner. I've never been big on lip liner, but these have changed my mind. They're so creamy and glide on so smooth. I will never go back to wearing no lip liner ever again. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Jordan. I love to hear that when people find a good lip liner formula, they understand the hype. I feel like lip liner in general is a makeup step that is so underrated. I've said that so many times, but it really makes the biggest difference in your makeup. But of course you need to find a formula and a color that you really love. So I was really happy to hear Jordan say that. So thank you for your review. 
All right, in fifth place with 17 votes was the Milani Color Statement Lip Liners. Honestly, I had forgotten about this formula. I used to wear this all the time, so I'm really excited to be reminded of it so I can revisit this because obviously a lot of you guys enjoy this formula. Kara said, Milani makes the best drugstore lip liners. They're creamy enough to not drag when applying, but not so creamy that they come off easily. After eating a meal, my lipstick will be gone, but my Milani lip liner will still be there. I have several shades but my favorite is spice so much so I have several backups in my drawer from Kara a South African living in South Korea I love that I love when you guys tell me where you're from and where you're living I've always wanted to visit both of those places so I think that's so cool you guys have such interesting lives I feel like I want to chat with you and go to lunch with you and figure out what you're all up to because I don't know I get little glimpses and it just makes me want to get to know you more Anyway, Monica said, as a person of color, it is hard to find a lip liner that suits my skin tone. The Milani lip liner in the shade Spice is my absolute hands down favorite lip liner of all time. It glides on so smoothly that I can even get away with using it as a lipstick. Love you, Allie. Thank you for always being so happy and kind. Thank you, Monica. And it seems like based off of Kara and Monica, I need to try the shade Spice. So the most mentioned Milani color statement lip liners were Spice, All Natural, and Nude. I have All Natural and Nude, but I do not have Spice. So I need to add that to my list of lip liners to pick up, but there you have it. There's the fifth place winner. Coming in in fourth place with 31 votes is the MAC Lip Pencils. The most mentioned shades were Whirl, Spice, Soar, and Boldly Bare. But a lot of people have different shades that they love and overall, you know, it's just the formula that matters most and then you pick the shade that you love the most. But those were the most mentioned shades. So Nisa said, there are a lot that I love, but if I had to choose just one, the MAC lip liner in Whirl would have to be it. It is such a beautiful formula and lasts so long. The color is just my perfect color. It can be built up as more of a statement or sheared out to be soft. Love pairing it with a good cream stain or gloss. Just gorgeous. Love you, Allie. Love you too, Nisa. Natalie said the hype is real at first I was skeptical of buying these but when I committed I never went back they have amazing shade ranges that always look gorgeous on my medium to dark skin girls they are reliable and last forever even after eating buttery pasta my lips still look fire love your videos so so much Allie you inspire so many of us XO from California I love that Natalie so sounds like Natalie must be a makeup artist which I think is really fun and I love when people who do other people's makeup have certain formula recommendations recommendations or shades or a range that really works across all different skin tones and undertones. So it sounds like the MAC ones are good. I personally have only tried a few. I do have the shade Soar and Whirl right here. I also love Subculture personally. Um, but yeah, I need to revisit Whirl because this one looks really pretty and I remember using it quite a bit, but I haven't in a while and I know it's so many people's favorites. So that's in fourth place. Are you guys ready to hear the top three lip liners? In third place with 38 votes was the ColourPop Lippy Pencils. The top two shades were definitely BFF and Oh Snap, but I saw a lot of different submissions. So let's get into some of your reviews. Nevada, I hope I'm saying your name right. I really apologize. I do my best with names, but I, I wish I could ask you, you know, to make sure I'm saying it right. So hopefully that's close. But they said, my makeup artist used this on me for my wedding and my oh my did my lips look good all day and night. The formula is creamy, easy to apply, and there are so many colors to choose from. I'm so glad I was introduced to them. Love you, Allie, and thank you for doing this series. Now when people ask for the best, I have proof. I love that so much, and I'm so happy you enjoyed the series. Sydney said, the shades BFF and Oh Snap are my personal favorites. They are so easy to use, and they glide on so nicely and last all day. Not to mention the price is right with these. I don't feel the need to purchase another formula of lip liner because these are the best out there. Love you, Allie. Can't wait to see the final look with all the number one products. Believe me, Sydney, I cannot even wait to do that video. Once we have the entire lineup, I'm gonna be doing a full face using all the number one products together, which is gonna be really fun. So stay tuned for that. Petra said, hi Ali, I'm a makeup artist and a makeup lover myself. I have tried so many different lip liners throughout the years and I believe that this is one of the best ones on the market and has a great price point too. Very creamy formula, pigmented, glides on the lips and stays put for a long time. My personal shade is Little One. I actually haven't tried that one. This is just the perfect nude color, 
Love you in your videos. I've learned so much from you. I appreciate your constant passion and kindness towards us. Hugs and love from a Hungarian girl living in Norway. Oh my gosh, Petra, thank you so much for your review and your kind words as well. I'm so glad you enjoy my videos. You guys are the reason why I sit down and film these anyway, so it means the world to me to hear that it's making a difference in some way in your life. So thank you so much. All right, in second place with 59 votes is another drugstore formula. I really love the mix of drugstore and high end that I get in all the top 10 videos so far. It's so fun to see that there are good formulas no matter what price they are. So in second place with 59 votes is the NYX Slim Lip Pencil. The most mentioned shades were Natural, Nude Beige, Mauve, and Ever. So let's hear what you guys had to say. Tony said, hi Allie, if I could only choose one lip liner brand forever, it would sure be the NYX Slim Lip Pencil. It just glides on so effortlessly, stays put, and is so affordable. There are so many colors to choose from, I don't see why anyone would need anything else. Love this series so much that I have often gone out and bought a few number ones already. Love you. Love you too, Tony. That makes me so happy that you are enjoying this series and hopefully you found some new favorites. Malia said, this is the best lip liner I've ever had and even though that's not saying a lot because I haven't tried many. There's a reason why this is the only lip liner I've ever had to repurchase. The formula is creamy but not slick, pigmented, long wearing, and overall my perfect your lips but better shade. Recently I purchased a new lipstick from REM Beauty and the particular shade Kiss Me didn't have a matching lip liner but this one is its perfect match. So I didn't even bother searching further. I love how I can throw this on and have a grounded lip look without a ton of effort, products, or heaviness on my lips. The best part in my opinion is the price. This is one of the makeup products that I would happily pay $50 for just for the formula if it was only available at $50, lol. It's just that good. I loved that review. That was so fun. I feel like sometimes some of those drugstore formulas that are like, this is probably what, four or five dollars? They really are so good that I feel like I would also pay 50 bucks for this, especially. My favorite shade is nude beige. It's to die for. I love it. Sarah said, I work in the medical field. Side note, thank you so much, Sarah, for all you do. I have so much respect for everyone in the medical field. She said, and have to wear masks for up to 12 hours in the hospital. Even then, that doesn't stop me from wearing lip products and the NYX lip liners have never failed me. I can always guarantee that my liner will stay on by the end of the day. Not only that, you simply can't beat their shade selection for such an affordable price. An absolute staple in my makeup collection. Love you and everything you do, Allie. Love you, Sarah. And again, thank you for everything you do. I think it's especially interesting to hear when people work in the medical field or any job that requires you to wear masks all day, every day. And when lip products last through that, I mean, that's when you know it's really good. Guys, we have made it. This is the top product, the number one lip liner according to you, and I would have to agree. I love this one so much. So this formula had 97 votes. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. And by far the top two shades that were mentioned were Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude, which I have right here <laughs> and I clearly love. I'm actually wearing Iconic Nude all over the lips with the Mario Aaron lipstick in the middle. In case you're wondering, that's what I'm wearing. So let's see what you guys had to say. Melanie said, Iconic Nude ended up replacing my MAC Oak Lip Pencil, unfortunately. Although I still use and love my MAC Lip Liner Pencils, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Pencils go on so much smoother and last longer than MAC. In my humble opinion, you only need two lip liner pencils, Iconic Nude and Pillow Talk. These two go with almost any lipstick out there. This series was a great idea. Loving all the videos. Thank you, Allie, for taking the time to put these together. Thank you, Melanie, for taking the time to submit your reviews. These videos truly wouldn't be anything if it weren't for you guys voting. So I really appreciate your help. This is definitely a collaborative series and I love hearing from you guys. It's just been so fun for me. JC said, classic, beautiful alone under lipsticks, under gloss or lip oil. You can dress it up or down, buttery smooth and stays. Iconic nude and pillow talk are my faves for my lips but better. Clearly you guys love these two shades. Lydia said, as much as I wish I could pick an affordable drugstore lip liner as the best, I can't lie and say that this isn't my favorite one. There's something so special about this liner which makes it worth the $24 price tag to me. It's so creamy, pigmented, and lasts all day. It was actually you, Allie, who inspired me to buy this lip liner in the shade Iconic Nude. Oh my gosh. And I love wearing that for more fancier occasions. I also bought the shade Super Size Me and it is my favorite shade that I wear almost every day. I'm gonna have to buy that one. I haven't tried that. For anyone who is debating on spending the 
cash, do it. I promise it's worth it. Love you so, so, so much, Allie, and your channel. Your videos always make my day. Thank you, Lydia. I am so happy to hear that you love Iconic Nude because of me. Oh my gosh. I love that lip liner so much. Clearly, as you can see, I chose to wear it today. It's just the best. Lexi said, hi, Allie. It's Lexi from China. I think the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner, Pillow Talk specifically, is the perfect lip liner for overlining your lips. I've been using it for about four years and I'm still obsessed with it. It's not too stiff or too waxy, and I do appreciate the longevity of it. And the shade Pillow Talk is just like my lip color, so it's easy for me to get fuller lips. Plus, it's a perfect base for darker lip colors too. I never go wrong with my red lips every time I use it. I just can't get enough. P.S. I love you and your channel so, so much. Your videos can always make me smile. Thank you, Lexi, you're so sweet. I love Pillow Talk as well. I've actually never tried it with like my more bold lip colors though. I'll totally need to try that. Thanks, Lexi, for your review and for your tips. Guys, that's it, oh my gosh. I hope you're not too sick and tired of hearing me chatting your ear off reading these reviews, but I truly am so thankful for everybody who submitted your votes and your reviews and why you love these things. We definitely had some amazing formulas mentioned today. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed hearing about everybody's favorite lip liners. And again, please don't forget to submit your favorite lipstick. I'm so, so, so excited about the lipstick one. So of course, lips are really hard because I feel like there's so many different types. I am going to be doing a gloss category as well. So kind of stick to lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, if you like those or like velvety formulas, but lipsticks are next. The form is going to be in the description box down below. And just like this, it's more about the formula. And of course, if you have a favorite shade in the formula, be sure to mention it because I will mention the top mentioned shades in the formulas. So just keep that in mind if you do participate and thank you in advance for everybody who's going to help with the lipstick video because I personally cannot wait to hear what the top 10 lipsticks are. If you missed any of the other top 10 according to you series, I will have the playlist in the description box down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if there's a lip liner that you feel like was missing from the top 10. What do you think deserve to be in the top spot? Leave a comment down below. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.